Okay, so now we're going to use our configure features to create bricks of various sizes. And this is where those variables come into play. So you're going to go over here where it says configuration panel. We'll click on the configuration panel using the left click. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on configure part studio. And then we're going to click on the variable that says rows. Once we have rows selected, we're going to click on the configure features. And once again, we can click on rows. And in this case, we're going to make sure that the value, we're going to click on where it says value. Notice that there's a yellow dash box around value. It means that the value has been configured. Then we're going to do the same thing for the columns. We're going to click on columns. And we're going to click on value. And notice that value for the rows and the columns has been selected. Once those two are done, we're going to go ahead and click done. Then we're ready to move on to step number three. Okay, step number three says left click on the configuration is labeled at the top of the left <coughs> of the table. So we're going to click here. We're going to rename it size. Now we're going to left click on default and we're going to rename it to by by four and then we could, can click enter so it's going to set our, our default as the two by four for this current puzzle cube part or lego part next we're going to left click in the box that says name and we're going to type two by three we're going to hit enter we're going to do this again for two by two and click enter and then we're done with step number four now we're going to left click on the value in a cell and we're going to change it to the correct value. So here it's two by four and now this one needs to be two by three. This needs to be two by two. Oops, two by two. Our table, our table should look similar to the one that you see and we're done with that. Now we can check out to see what happens when we change each of these cells. We can go here and go to two by three. Notice that it changes to a two by three. So here it changes to a two by two and we're going to change it back to a two by four we're going to continue adding we're going to do a, a one by four a one by three one by two and a one by one and again we have to change our values this would be one this would be one three this would be one, two, this would be one by one. Oops, by one. <clears throat> now, if we take a look at each of these, we've got one, one by four, one by three, one by two, and one by one. What you'll notice is this little piece is sticking out on the side here, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to have to make it so that that one piece, that one little piece, is no longer in our one by by four, one by three, one by two, and one by one parts. And I'll show you how to do that. Step nine says, click on the configure features in the configuration panel. So we're gonna click on the configure features and configuration panel. We're gonna click on extrude number three. So we need to find extrude, extrude number three. We're gonna go ahead and click on extrude number three, and we're going to click on unsuppressed. And we're gonna do the same thing for linear pattern number two. So we'll click on linear pattern number two and unsuppressed and then click done and what you'll notice i'm going to go ahead and make this larger so that you can see it that all of these values have suppressed and unsuppressed we're going to go ahead and for all of our one by four three two and ones we're going to go ahead and take those off so we're going to unsuppress those by four or three or two and by one we're going to unsuppress those so that now when we go to our different brick sizes so if we go by, let's go, let's go ahead and restart. Here we have our two by four. If we go down to our one by one brick, you'll notice that it's no longer, um, it's no longer, vis it's no, that little piece is no longer visible. You can still see the sketch and that's because the sketch is still visible. We're gonna go ahead and turn that sketch off. Okay.
Now it's going to be time to make some additional bricks or additional brick types. And so to do that, we're going to need to add our configuration input. So we're going to left click on add configuration input. And we're going to left click where it says list input one. We're going to change the name to block type. Block type. Okay. And where it's, it's and then uh, once we have block type, we're going to go where it says default. We're going to, in the name, we're going to type brick. And underneath that, I'm going to type plate, and then tile, and then we have all of our different types of Lego. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So for this particular step, we're going to um, make sure we're selected the brick, and then we're going to add a config or add configure features, and we're going to select the variable that's the height. So configure features, variable that's the height. Once we have the height selected, we're going to click on the value. Notice that it's, it has this, this uh, dashed uh, yellow line around it. Then I'm going to go to my extrude 2 and unsuppressed. Make sure that I have unsuppressed. OK. Then I'm going to go to my fillet 1. And I'm also going to add unsuppressed. And once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and click done. For my tile, I'm going to deselect unsuppressed. And I'm going to change my I'm going to change my values for my height to 10 divided by 3 and 10 divided by 3 for my tile and my plate. Now you can try looking at the various brick types. So brick type, we can go to plate. You'll notice that it flattens it out and you have a plate. And then if you go to tile, it flattens it out and takes the little nubs off. But what you do, you might notice that there's a yellow warning on the linear pattern. That's just letting you know that you're patterning a suppressed feature. You can fix that by selecting the configuration features in the block type configuration panel. If you don't care, you can just leave it alone. So you could just leave it as, as is. If it's really bothering you that you have it, you can just double select, double click. Uh, you can select it by going over to the configurations panel. Um, you can select linear pattern one. And deselect the three selections for the cell. But otherwise, you can just leave it alone.